Okay, now all we have to do is his body and then take a quick look at what we've looked at. <laughs> that sounds a little Irish, doesn't it? But to be fair, I was married to an Irishman for 40 years. Um, digitized close shape. I want bog standard tatami. In other words, I don't want any pattern on it. Blow this up and lay my first node. Capturing those stitches that are the feathers at the top of his legs up into his neck area catching the bottom of the feathers here Guess who forgot to turn off radio? I don't want radio, come on. Effects. No, but I do want Florentine. And I don't want Florentine going in that direction, so I go to reshape. And I bring that down to there. I take that one up to there. And I take that one up to there. Right. Let me just take a quick look at that. And both sides for, mm, no, not both sides, just side two. Right. And I think I will just move that up there a bit. and drop this one down a touch. There we go. And there, with all his gory details, is a baby delivering stalk in a single colour with lots of different textures. Um, smooth satin, different fill angles on the weave fills to give direction, Florentine fill here to give you the fullness of the body, the satin stitch with split to give the effect of feathers on the top of his legs, the radial fill 
give us that radiating fill coming from about here. I don't know about this. It's a wee bit... Hmm. Let's look at the fill. Let's see how it looks in that. Turning the pattern. Oh no, definitely not. We'll just go back to what it was. Right, there's one more item to be done. And that's the detail on the face. So, Let's go into True View, highlight this, and come over here and tell it Carve Stamp. Move in. I don't much like this cheek effect. I don't think it adds to it at all. So I think what I'll do is start digitizing can't really see where I started that. Right. Enter it. Stamp. Appearance. Raised. True view. Right, we've got a satin stitch eye there. We haven't got a satin stitch eye here. Oops, I move. Ah, undo. That's better. Um, I go into True View. Select that. Reshape. I took this node down too far. I didn't leave any room underneath. So I'm going to hide my display so as I can see. There we go. Okay, true view, there we go, we've got satin eyeballs inside of the wee fill head and that's by using a raised stamp under appearance in the carving stamp tabs. 
So let's close that to have this stop. Um, maybe we'll change the colour. <laughs> And we'll make it navy. There we go. <laughs> now, I hope it's given you a few ideas for your digitizing. I'm going to put it through the slow player. And I'm not going to do it slowly. I'm going to do it quickly. And There goes the baby's head. That was Florentine. And this was Weave Phil. That was Satin. Using the block tool. If you're going to digitize loose weave fabrics like terry toweling, you have to use a cutaway. I despair when I read comments like, use two layers. No, your stabilizer should be strong enough to enable you to stitch out your designs using only a single layer of stabilizer. And if it's an item to be laundered, and it's going to be laundered fairly often, don't use water soluble stabilizer as your backing. Use it as your topping by all means, but don't use it as your backing. It won't provide sufficient strength to maintain the integrity of your designs. A couple of washes and they'll look like limp rags and they will have distorted. And if you don't want to see a stabilizer on the back, Digitize it on a good firm weave fabric and then applique that onto your loose terry, terry toweling. So that's two ways you can approach doing um, a design as an embossed fill, which is this one. Well, it would be if I hadn't lost it. There it is. Same design, same size, different technique. So what pops out of you is the loops in your toweling. 
You can use a water soluble stabiliser topper. That will hold down the terry toweling temporarily while you're laying down your mesh grid or your loose tatami fill rather. Um, but you still need a stabiliser. And water soluble as a stabiliser on the back of a loose woven fabric is not going to do the job. You have to use a cutaway. Medium weight is fine. It's quite strong enough. It will support no end of stitches. Um, there's a couple of quite expensive stabilizers which go under brand names and they tell you use two layers. Mm -mm. One layer is sufficient. If you're using the correct stabilizer because when you start laying up two layers of stabilizer you are creating a quilt and you will get puckering right I'm going to close now because I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you another day.